<laughs> hey there, everybody. Healthy Prepper here with her oh. wild beast, Penny. Yes, this is Penny. And today we're going to be talking about wild dogs and what can happen to our little lovable furry creatures in an SHTF situation. Let's say we're killed and our little pooches take to the streets. It may no longer be the life of this, but it may be more something like that. Yes. And how can that happen from this? Okay, let's face it. This is not going to turn into that. But this little one would have a very short lifespan out there if she was left to fend on her own. Um, first of all, she'd have a hard time making it out of the house. But she's got the kind of hair that would just grow long and turn into mats and knots. And it would get caught in all the brambles and sticks and bushes out there. And she would be easy prey for anything. So, we're going to have to put you through some prepper training, Miss Penny. But back to this. Now, recently, not recently, but back in 2011, in Deer Park, Washington, there was a 350-pound <gasps> llama that was killed by a pack of wild dogs. And in that pack of wild dogs, there were 15, 10 to 15 pack animals. And this same group of pack animals was purported to go on and kill another... Um, over 100 animal attacks, including goats and chickens and small pets and what have you not. Um, the sheriff was warning the people to uh, take their kids and pets off the street at night, especially. Um, but after a while, the wild pack dogs were also seen during the day, so there was a big concern in that area. Now, another thing to think about um, was a situation in St. Louis where a fourth grade boy was attacked and nearly eaten alive by a pack of 10 to 15 wild dogs. Um, these dogs particularly had no collars, but there were some other sightings. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, in uh, Mexico, uh, four people and a one-year-old were mauled to death uh, by wild dogs in a Mexico City Park. They were they found dead, partially eaten. Uh, one was missing a left arm, and they all bled to death. Two teens, 15 and 16-year-old, were also found uh, bleeding to death in a park. Um, so this stuff does happen. Um, experts say that uh, these looked like domesticated pets because they were wearing, some were wearing collars, and they um, ended up going off on their own, forming and forging packs, and it's, possibly, it's possible that these pets or their offspring uh, resorted to natural pack instincts, uh, bonding together in order to hunt for food because they weren't strong enough to be solo hunters. So... In an SHTF scenario where um, a lot of pets will be abandoned, let go, um, etc., there will be a lot of animals roaming the streets. Some will be coyotes. We have a lot of coyotes in our area in a relatively suburban area. Um, I have seen them at night. Uh, I've seen them early in the morning, around 5.30 in the morning when it's still dark, dark outside. Um, what can you do as a prepper to prepare for something like this? And uh, here are some things that you can do. Uh, some basic protections you can use are pepper spray, a personal alarm system, a stun gun, a taser, um, any type of uh, strobe, light strobe or high-pitched sound, uh, canine repellent or repeller will work. Um, you, some people have suggested squirt guns, air rifles, BB guns, carrying big sticks, yelling and waving your arms, uh, seeming, making yourself seem bigger than you are. This has been the recommendation in our area against the coyotes um, to yell and make a lot of noise, and that seems to scare them away. Um, you know, in an SHTF scenario, you'd probably want to also be packing your gun. Um, you can use it to scare the animals, or, you know, if you're fighting for defending your life or a family or, uh, you know, community member's life, um, you do have it to protect yourself. Of course, you always want to be highly responsible for when you discharge your firearm, where does that bullet go? Make sure you know what's beyond the uh, beyond your target, in case you miss or in case the bullet goes farther than you planned. So um, just something to think about. Uh, wild pack dogs, um, domesticated dogs turning into wild pack dogs, and what can happen and how can we prepare for this? Um, if you have any other ideas, I would love to hear it. What are your thoughts? 
And, you know, do you have any pets? And, oh, yep, there we go, little grumpy face. What could possibly happen in case you were not around to take care of them or they needed to hit the high road? Yep, that's it. Hit the high road and fend for themselves. What would life be like? Okay, everybody. Take care. Happy and healthy prepping.